Hello, I'm Father Peter Donahue, president of Villanova University. Both my parents um, came from Bronx, New York, and both of them uh, thought education was extremely important for the four of us. There were four children in the family. My father actually immigrated from Ireland and was always very committed to education. Uh, particularly for us, it was Catholic education, so all of us went through Catholic schools all our life. But it was a way of kind of building community around us and also around building uh, the community around people in our neighborhood, so the people that we lived around. Uh, but it was always um, very important. Grades were very important. Our involvement with school was very important. Attending class was very important. Um, I am proud to say that I never missed a day of school from kindergarten to 12th grade. I think probably the biggest challenge uh, that existed in terms of um, attending college was that it was a world that was unknown to my family. My older sister attended college first, so she was really the first person in our family to attend college, and so there was some knowledge about what it was like. She attended a school that was not too far away from our home, so it was uh, probably an hour drive from where we lived, and it was a small all-women's college at the time. And so it was a very close-knit community that she was involved in. Uh, when I went away to school, it was to Villanova University, and I was going from Detroit, Michigan to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, so there was a great distance there. And there was no real um, knowledge as to what it would entail, what would be going on, how it would function, uh, that I would be away for that long a period of time, because um, in those years, um, you know, there wasn't a big deal about moving to college, so my parents literally took me to the airport. It was the first time I'd ever been on a plane. Uh, they took me to the airport, said goodbye to me. I got on the plane and flew to Philadelphia. So there was no kind of family traveling and dropping me off and setting up the room and all of those kinds of They just didn't know that that kind of thing happened. It was, you were going away to school and go. And the next time I returned home was in Thanksgiving. So there was this long period of time that um, uh, I was away from them. And uh, they didn't really know what to expect about college. So I think that was the biggest challenge of all. For the history of Villanova University, uh, first generation students were always an integral part of who we were. From our very beginning in 1842, it was a place that invited immigrant boys, particularly, to come here for an education. Uh, they were all immigrants from Ireland at the time. But over the course of many years, Villanova continued to be a place for first-generation schools. For a long time, it was very much a commuter school. People came from the local area. In fact, more people came from outside of the university to attend classes that actually lived on campus. The larger population was people that lived in their local neighborhoods. So it was always considered that kind of working class school that people came to. And so we continue to want to be that. We continue to want to be a place that invites people from all different walks of life, from all different geographic and economic backgrounds to really find their place here at the university. I often say that for people that come to school here, many of them came here from very different backgrounds. And because of their experience at Villanova, because of what they had, the time that they spent here, the people they got to know, their lives today are very different than what they were when they first came here. And they are living in very different circumstances. So from this experience, they became what they were not yet. Welcome to Villanova.